Hi, I'm Stephen Walls. Welcome to a new episode on my Design to Visualization YouTube channel. I have been in the AEC industry since early 2003, helping out numerous companies across the world and have taken on many roles, from drafting and designing to model managing and implementing company-wide BIM and SIM standards, procedures, and workflows. Welcome to my weekly Design to Visualization video release, where I'll be reviewing advanced tools and workflows covering a multitude of design and visualization programs currently being implemented within the AEC industry. If you have any specific requests on what you'd like to see me review, or would even like to collaborate on these, feel free to reach out to me at stevewalls at hotmail.com. That's S-T-E-V-E-W-A-L-Z at hotmail.com. If you like what you see in these videos, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the lower right hand corner so that you can stay in the loop as I release new videos. Hope you enjoy. For this demonstration, I'm going to be reviewing both the bpoly and linework shrink wrap commands within CAD. And what we're looking at here are jurisdictional river and stream center lines that came from GIS. And we offset those 30 feet on either side to establish our 60 foot stream buffers. And then at the end, the terminating points of these center lines, we also created uh, circles that have a 30 foot radius to kind of close that gap at the ends. Now, as you can see, we've got a lot of streams that we're performing the study on at this point. So if we were to leverage the bpoly command, we would essentially have to break these circles, trim them out, and make sure we have an enclosed outer boundary before we can initiate the bpoly command. So that's what we're doing here. We're trimming. Can you erase this little segment? Let's erase that real quick. And then we'll initiate the bpoly command. We're going to pick a point within that boundary and you can see it highlights, hit enter, and it automatically creates that enclosed polyline. Now imagine doing that across the entire site. As you can see, we've got a lot of streams, buffers, and everything. Um, so what we're going to want to do in, for this particular instance is we're going to want to leverage the line work shrink wrap command. So let's undo all this stuff. Zoom extents. And now we're going to initiate the line work shrink wrap command. We're going to select all of the objects and just hit enter. And as you can see, as we zoom in, we have 15 enclosed polylines that were generated automatically and they're on the outside of the stream buffers. So now what we can do is we can hatch all these for our study uh, to display within the sheets. Now let's change that hatch. Let's do some kind of cross hatch. Change the scale a little more. There you go. Now imagine trying to do that B poly command for each of these where you had to break those circles to the point where they were reconnected with those offset lines from the stream center lines that we established. Leveraging the line work shrink wrap command saved me probably half an hour to an hour's worth of just tedious drafting time. 